In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all you need to know about the auto feeding robot cow barn large in Farming Simulator 22. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about the cow barn with feeding robot. So we're looking at the feeding robot right here. So this is the feeding robot and the cow barn itself is basically the cow barn large with 80 animals. Okay, pretty much relatively the same, exactly the same layout. Can still feed them in the conventional method through this manner here. However, it's got this annex slash uh, building at the back, which is primarily designed for the feeding robots. So this is going to mix up your total mix ration uh, perfectly every time and it's going to feed the cows on an automatic basis. So what it is, is it basically has a provision at the back here for the different recipe items for TMR. So we've got hay, we've got straw, and we've got silage. So silage being the largest component, straw and hay being somewhat equal. And then obviously what will happen is this little grab arm in white here will go across this gantry, pick up the required amounts of the different inputs to make the TMR with the addition of mineral feed. So mineral feed lives out here, signified by this icon here. Uh, I've got some mineral feed on a pallet just there, ready to go. So if you want to find the mineral feed, it's in the shop under the pallet section, scrolling over to the right here, and it is the Shalman mineral feed, $1,000. Now it's debatable whether mineral feed actually does anything for your cows and for TMR, uh, but it is advisable to use it just if you are gonna use this building, just to make sure you're getting maximum benefit out of your TMR. Now what you'll notice too, is if I just jump into the build mode, you can see we've got this gravelly sort of texture outside of the barn itself or the robot area. So what'll happen is we'll see this shortly, the robot will come out on this path, go through here and then deliver the food into this area and then come back out on a loop and then park itself back in this bay ready for the next uh, feeding cycle. So the couple of benefits of using this building, so if we just go into the build mode, we'll look at it in the animal section. So we've got cows, cow barn auto feeding robot. So 722,500 to buy, okay? So you can see that they're quite a sizable building. Like we talked about, it's the addition of the, the auto feeding component on the back, uh, which is where all the cost is primarily. Um, but when you weigh up the cost of a, a mixing wagon, for example, so a trailed one will cost you 50 grand, okay, which is not a huge expense. But if you wanted to get a self-propelled um, option, they're upwards of about 240,000 for a big one. So it basically saves you the cost of having to purchase one of these items in the first place. Okay, so there is a little bit of a saving there or a little bit of a neutralization of cost. But the primary benefit is the automatic feeding and the exact ratios of TMR every time. And it puts the feeding on a bit of a passive um, loop. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to worry about it. All you have to worry about as the player is to make sure these bunkers are promptly filled with the required feed types at all times. Um, and obviously in your in-game menu, you will see the effectiveness bar to let you know if you're getting low, etc. So what I've done here is I've put in 80 Holsteins. So they're the dairy cows. Now, if you're gonna use the feeding robot, you'd probably want to focus on milk production. If you're gonna go for beef cattle, you could probably just use a regular barn and feed the guys hay um, because they don't produce any milk. So therefore you're not gonna to have to worry about the intricacies of the TMR side of things, okay? Right, without it out of the way, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this guy filled up with some ingredients. So I've got some trailers here ready to go with the required recipe and also some bales on. So some telly handles with some bales. So let's see if we can chuck these bales in first up. Let's see what happens. So my understanding is we should be able to just pop this down. And you can see that there is now being con converted into straw. So we've got 9,000 litres of straw. Okay, happy days. Let's get this guy out the way. Now I should have mentioned before moving on, I've purchased these items from the shop. So I've gone into the bale section. I've got a square bale of hay, a square bale of silage, and a square bale of wheat straw. Okay. So basically you don't need to farm all these items. You can purchase them from the shop. Obviously it's a little bit more expensive in the long run, but in the short term, it'll allow you to keep your production going. So I've dropped this guy in here, start to be consumed like the hay, I mean like the straw. So yep, that's in. So the silage bale will do the same thing. So let's go and pop that in. Right here I have the silage bale. So let's go and drop that off. I'll pop that in there. And you can see our silage is now come up. So we've got 8,000 of hay, 5,000 of silage, 9,000 of straw. So the inputs are quite sizable. All right, but obviously when we've got 80 cows in there, they're going to chew through the food pretty quickly. So it's imperative that we have a pretty good stock of um, the required feed elements. All right, so we've got a trailer of silage here. So let's go back this guy on in. So you can see that's going in there, no problem. One, one thing you got to watch out for is you don't clip the roof with your trailer. So it looks like we're pretty clear here. All right, let's get the, so this is the straw. So let's go put that in. All right, that's the straw. Let's go grab the hay. All right here after hay, let's get that in. All right, here we are. So we've got the hay in, we've got some straw, we've got some silage, okay? Now we've, now I should mention too, if we jump back into this menu, 
uh, water is not required because the building takes care of the water component. Um, we're still able to produce uh, slurry and manure as per normal, um, and our health and reproduction will accelerate once the uh, day kicks over. So let's go sleep for one day, and then we'll see what happens with the animals. Uh, so one thing we forgot to do is put the mineral feed in, so we'll do that now. So you just both got to paste the pallet just here. So you can see that's getting consumed into our production point. I say a production point, but just the, the cow barn with auto-feeding robot, and that'll disappear. And then that also has a capacity which you cannot see from this menu. However, you should be able to get an indication, I believe. No. So it doesn't tell you. It'll just basically, when it's full, uh, the pallets won't get absorbed. It'll just sit there and use it as needed um, to mix your TMR. So make sure if you're going to use the mineral feed, throw that in there as well. All right, so we have... Okay, so without the mineral feed, nothing happened. Okay, let's go and have a look. So let's go and sleep again. So it may not work without the, min the mineral feed, so that's actually something useful to know. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. All right, so here we are. We can see the robot is actually mixing up some TMR as we speak. Okay. Now I just want to make sure we've got decent quantities of everything. Now the mineral feed's low. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So we'll observe this. So it's obviously it's going in for the hay now. Okay, so we can see, see the hay going in. So let's see what happens once this is ready to go. Okay, so here we go. Robot's coming out. Now let's see if we can block this. Because I'm sure some people are going to have that issue. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so there is a collision. So we've got to make sure we keep this path clear. Okay, so we'll go up the ramp here. And then we should see the TMR start to come out. All right, so you can sort of see the TMR coming out down the bottom there, if I get in front of this thing. So we are getting some feed into the cow barn. So let's go and have a look at the so I don't want to block this guy. We'll stand over here. So it's showing zero liters currently. So I'm wondering if it's because we don't have enough food on hand to build up the capacity. So that's basically how the, the robot will operate. So let's see if it goes back in. So it clips into the ground every so often, but don't worry about that. Now what we should see is if it's going to mix up some more, these shutters will come down. Okay, so the shutters are currently up, which would indicate we can now refill this with... Uh, the required feed types. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to come back in and refill these all the way up, and then we're going to observe the next feeding cycle and see if we can't get our animal health and productivity up a little bit higher. All right, here we are. We're back at the uh, auto feeding cow barn with topped up silage, straw, and hay. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner there we've got the maximum values of the inputs. So 49,000 liters of hay and straw, uh, 45,000 liters for mineral feed, and 115,000 liters for silage. So we've we've topped up everything. Everything's maxed out. We've dumped a truckload of mineral feed into here as well uh, to observe what's hap what happens. So a couple of things. So on the hour, every hour, this auto feeding robot just here will come through and go through an animation of picking up the um, various ingredients to make the TMR. The robot will come out, do a little circuit on this track here, go up to the end of the uh, feed trough and then come back down and spread the feed out, okay? So the animation happens regardless. Every hour on the hour you'll get an increase in feed uh, based on how many cows you have and that happens automatically even if you sleep. So what we're going to do now is we are going to fast forward till nine, to 9 o'clock and then we're going to observe what happens with the feeding procedure. All right, so we're just speeding up time. So it's about to hit nine o'clock. The shutters come down. So I'm just going to quickly change this time back. So the shutters come down. The robot will come out, grab the required amounts of the ingredients. And if we can see that there, dump it into the feeding robot. So this is the mixer. So it doesn't matter if we keep the time scale sped up or the same or reduce it. It's going to, it's going to go through the motions of the same animation um, regardless of what time scale we're using, okay? So what I want to demonstrate too quickly is if we jump into the cow menu. I've run this for a couple of days, so the total mixed ration is up to about 14,666 litres, okay? So once this animation triggers, basically the food goes in, okay? So it's just going through the motions of grabbing the, grabbing the ingredients, and what we'll do is we'll skip ahead time until this thing comes out, and then we'll observe it doing its thing on its path. Okay, so the TMR is now ready. The robot will deploy, and it's very, very slow. But what I might do is I might speed up this section, so I'll follow it through just so you guys can observe what happens, and then we'll come back in afterwards. So you can see there it's dumping the food out into the feed area. So if we observe our feed, still the same. Okay, so the feed hasn't actually gone up yet. The feed actually goes up, like I mentioned before, when that uh, curtain comes down. So we'll follow this guy back out. I'll speed this up. Okay, so the roller door closes, 
and then if we wait now till 10 o'clock which we're not going to do but the cycle will repeat so one thing you uh, worth noticing is if you're inside this facility when the time ticks over to the hour uh, the animation won't trigger and the food won't go in so just be aware of that so that, that also includes loading and unloading uh, sorry loading of the the various crops required so just be aware of that also so let's have a quick look at the food now so we've got 14,666 liters so let's go ahead and sleep all right so we've slept for a full 24 hours you can see it's now eight o'clock 801 so that means on the hour this is going to go through its uh, procedure for feeding so we check the feed amount we're up to 22,333 liters so you can see it's increased overnight and if we come over close to the barn we can see our uh, quantities of product um, left to make so this is how we monitor the level of the the barn and the auto feeding robot so we can obviously monitor how much uh, tmr is being made now one thing to notice is if you are missing any one of these ingredients so hay straw silage or mineral feed no food will be produced okay so you have to have the mineral feed um, for this particular um, barn otherwise the tmr will not produce okay so you can get this via pallet on the in the shop so come over to objects let's get out of the way of this guy while he's doing his thing so in the shop on pallets so that's it there the shaman mineral feed or schumann so you can buy that in bulk or you can use mods to to uh, purchase it or you can use the multi-fruit buying station which is this mod here all right so it's just up to you but if you're playing with base game equipment you're going to have to manually load it it'll take 50 44 45 thousand liters roughly so quite a substantial amount I mean, obviously you don't need to have these topped up to the maximum to produce the TMR, but you do have to have all these uh, ingredients available for TMR to be produced, otherwise no TMR will happen, okay? So then your cows won't produce milk, won't be optimal health, etc. So just something to keep in mind. Um, one thing I will mention quickly is along with the TMR, this barn will still take any of the other inputs, such as forage, hay or grass. So the respective feed types for the cows. Um, so you do have the you do have the ability to use the robot, which is why you would use this in the first place. But you do have the ability to manually load the food types via conventional trailer or forage mixer or whatever you've got. Uh, that will all still work. Okay. So let's um, let's wrap up wrap up our thoughts on the cow feeding robot. So pretty much, why would you want to use the auto feeding cow barn? So basically, if you're going to do dairy cows and you don't want to have to have the hassle of mixing TMR constantly, um, then this is going to be the probably the best way to go because it basically takes out the um, need to do the manual mixing yourself. You just provide the raw ingredients, so the hay silage, straw, and mineral feed, and the robot will do the mixing for you. Um, if you're going to go beef cattle, so not dairy cows, uh, the, the cow feeding robot is probably not the best option because... TMR is only really beneficial for the dairy cows to produce maximum uh, milk output. So if you're doing breeding cattle, etc., TMR is not really required. So you would go the hay or forage route, get 80% productivity just to produce the slurry and fatten up those cows ready for sale. So the auto feeding cow robot barn, probably not the best thing for you. Um, cons of this thing, it's pretty expensive. Um, pretty expensive outlay and it is does it does require all four ingredients particularly including the mineral feed for it to operate at all so unlike the conventional tmr mixes you can omit a couple of the ingredients so to create tmr you can just use uh, hay and silage you can omit omit the mineral feed and omit the, the straw and still produce tmr okay so if you want to forego the mineral feed so mineral feed allegedly from what i've researched doesn't have much of an impact if an impact at all on the production of milk okay but i haven't done my own testing on that so it's going to be up to you whether you include mineral feed but one thing is for certain if you do use this cow feeding robot barn you are required to have mineral feed as well okay so just be aware of that if you're going to go down that route um other than that it's basically just a cow, just the low, the large cow barn with that addition so you just have to weigh up if you're going to go down that path or put up the extra cost elsewhere it just it's it's just up to you all right let's move on so there you have it guys everything you need to know about the cow barn auto feeding robot in farming simulator 22 if you've got any questions regarding the video leave them leave them below in the comments uh, don't forget to like the video if you like the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye for now